Hey, did you hear about Mr. Schneider getting mugged in the park last night? No, but what was he doing in the park at night anyway? He was exercising his police dog. Oh, <laughs> oh that's me. Oh, 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 oh. I'll get the, you get the phone. Oh, thanks, Diane. Aha. Uh, Mrs. Isaac Nugent, I presume? No, I'm Miss Diane Stockwell. Oh, how do you do? Actually, I shouldn't have made that joke because gravity is no laughing matter, is it? <laughs> no, I can see it isn't. <laughs> Let me help you, huh? Thank you. Uh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Harry Bentley. Do you live in the building? <laughs> no, but thanks for the compliment. I'm a maid. Huh. I work for some of the families in the building. Just going in for a cup of coffee with my friend. Oh, that's nice. Oh, then you know the Jeffersons, eh? No, just their maid, Louise. Maid? Oh, I think you're maid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring the groceries here in the kitchen, Diane. Hey, this is a real nice apartment. Sure is done in good taste. Oh, thank you. It is all right. I mean, my coming in like this, your boss ain't likely to come back unexpected. Boss? The day I call George boss is the day they'll invite Lester Maddox to a Harlem block party. <laughs> Calling George to his face? Not always. Sometimes I call him loudmouth. <laughs> he let you talk to him like that? Sure. What would you do if your husband gets up in your face? Husband? I thought you was talking about your employer. Huh? Thanks. Oh, it sure is nice having somebody like you to talk to, Louise. Some of the maids around here are so snooty, you'd think they own the apartments themselves. Really? You better believe it, honey, but I ain't got time for them stuck-up folks with their nose so high in the air they can't even smell their own mouthwash. <laughs> we? Who's that? Oh, uh, one of the higher noses in these parts. <laughs> we? Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, George, this is Diane Stockwell. Diane, this is my husband, George. If you're the Avon lady, I think it's too late. <laughs> he's a great joker. Sometimes he's even funny. <laughs> Do both y'all live here? Uh-huh, someplace, ain't it? Yeah. I didn't know the Jeffersons had a couple. A couple of what? <laughs> Must be real rich. <laughs> Hold it, Diane. We are the Jeffersons. Are <laughs> <laughs> you right, Louis? He's a great joker. <laughs> He's not joking, Diane. Oh, you got to be kidding. How can you afford to live in a place like this? You ain't tall enough to be no basketball player. <laughs> Say what? And you too old for a rock and roll singer. Look, this is our apartment. Then you got to be a number runner. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. No, hold on. I don't run nothing except my own business. That's true, Diane. He owns some cleaning stores. Including the one downstairs. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, Diane, wait. Wait, Diane, what's the matter? Well, I thought you was a maid like me. You a maid? Yes, what difference does that make? Plenty. Why ain't you out maiden someplace? <laughs> Don't mind him, Diane. No, it does make a difference. Mr. Jefferson is right. Mr. Jefferson? It's George, Diane. She was right the first time, Mr. Jefferson. You <laughs> better be going. Thanks for the coffee. Uh, uh, wait, promise you'll drop in tomorrow and have another cup of coffee with me? I want us to be good friends. Well, I will if I can. Bye, Mr. Jefferson. Bye. <laughs>